Hey, welcome everybody. This is Shane with Vested Interest. Back again for another video. That's right, we passed a pretty big milestone up to $2,519.23 in annual dividends, which is completely awesome. If you guys like dividend growth investing as much as I do, you should hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you're updated whenever we post any new videos. In this video, we're going to do another portfolio update. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. So we'll start with uh, this week. We actually had the first addition to the portfolio uh, was another spinoff. O Real o, uh, Realty Income spun off Orion Office REIT, ticker ONL. And in the spinoff, because I owned shares of uh, O, which is Realty Income, they gave me 1.615 shares of ONL. And it looks like it's down a little bit after the spinoff on the 17th. So it's two, two days now. It's down 36 cents. Currently worth $28.52. Then the most recent purchases on November 18th, I invested $2,006.96. And with that purchase, I bought 28 shares of Vail ticker V-A-L-E, for $11.31 per share, total $316.61. And Vale is a new addition to the portfolio. This is out of the materials sector. It's a mining company. Next, we bought two shares of Cis Cisco Corp, ticker S-Y-Y, $74.79 per share, for a total $149.59. The next addition was six more shares of Sabani Stillwater, ticker SBSW. They were $13.86 per share for a total of $83.14. This is another uh, materials. Actually, there's going to be a few out of the materials sector today. I'm finding some pretty good value in that sector. Uh, and ticker SBSW, if I didn't already say that, for Sabani Stillwater. Next up, we bought two shares of Rio Tinto, ticker RIO. At $60.06 .06 per share, $120.12 total. Again, Rio is out of the uh, material sector. Then a new addition to the portfolio as well, Global Payments Inc., ticker GPN, $127. And that's uh, $254 and a penny total, which is strange that it would be a penny total. So it must have been like one twenty-seven and a half cent per share for it to show up as $254.01. But anyways, that's Global Payments Inc. That's, that is a new addition to the portfolio, two shares there. And Global Payments Inc. is a uh, you know payments company, similar to like a Visa or a MasterCard, but they are actually out of the uh, technology sector. So next up, we bought two more shares of Prudential Financial, ticker PRU, at $109.17 per share for a total of $218.34. We added another share of 3M company, ticker MMM. I've been adding this one pretty steady. This one in J&J, uh, &J you'll see down below. Adding you know one or two shares of that pretty much every time I make a purchase. I feel like there's a few companies that I think are you know foundational stocks, I'll call them. 3M is one of those foundational stocks where I could add this you know every time that it's uh, within my striking distance, $179. Anything under $180 to me is a buy on this company. Again, one share of 3M. Ticker MMM at $179.85. Again, this is a little odd because it reads $179.85, but then it says the total cost was $179.84. So something is up with the uh, with the tracker. Next up, we bought four shares of Kraft Heinz Company, adding to that position at $35.29 per share, total of $141.15. Next up, again, another one of those I consider a foundational stock, J&J, uh, &J, Johnson & Johnson, ticker J&J, &J, one share there for $162.19 for a total of $162.19. Next up, 
we uh, jumped into the industrial. This is Huntington Ingalls Industries is out of the industrial sector, ticker HII at $184.17. One share there, and then one share in General Dynamics Corp, ticker GD, $197.80. Again, grand total added to the portfolio, $2,006.96. And the purchases were veils out of the material sector, Cisco Corp. Uh, not sure exactly what sector that's out of. If you give me a second, I'll look that up. SYY is out of the SYY. Uh, Sabini, still, let me look that up and I'll keep going. Sabini Stillwater is out of the material sector. Rio Tinto out of the material sector. Global Payments is out of the technology sector uh, prudential financial obviously out of the uh, financial sector 3m company again out of industrial sector Kraft Heinz is a consumer staple Johnson & Johnson is pharmaceuticals hunting Ingalls industries is also a uh, industrial and general dynamics is out of the industrial sector uh, and Cisco Corporation is out of consumer non-durable goods so it is a uh, this says engages in selling marketing distribution of food products to restaurants healthcare and educational facilities and lodging establishments you may have seen their trucks on the road anyway on to portfolio update currently the portfolio sits at fifty nine thousand seven hundred and sixty five dollars and seventy seven cents the current dividend yield is four point two one five percent and as we saw earlier, the annual dividend income it's currently producing is $2,519.23. We've crossed over that $2,500 mark. So pretty excited about that. A quick rundown through the sector allocations. Communications is currently at 6.24%. Consumer discretionary, 2.44%. Uh, and this consumer discretionary is kind of sinking down a little low. We might look to add something in that sector Consumer staples is at 13.71%. Uh, Energy is at 11.33%. Financials at 8.67%. Healthcare, 12.93%. Industrials, 14.73%. That is one of the sectors right now. I think you can find some value. There, healthcare, there's a few out there you can find some value. Technology is at 8.19%. There's a couple out there. Intel is one uh, that I had been adding. I didn't add any this time, but I think you can find some value in Intel right now. Uh, materials at 5.44%. As you saw on this particular update, I do feel like there's some value there. Uh, Rio Tinto, value in my opinion, Sabini Stillwater, and Vale, which we just added in this last uh, portfolio update. And utilities at 8.58%. And REITs in real estate at 7.74%. I am looking at uh, a few ETFs right now that I may add over uh, the coming weeks, uh, but I want to do a little bit more research on those before I pull the trigger on it. If I do, you guys will be the first to know. And guys, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I am only sharing my opinion and investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can lose money and should never invest any amount you are not comfortable losing. Always do your own research and invest based on your situation, circumstances, and selected criteria, or seek the advice and counsel of a certified financial advisor. So guys, that's it really for this video. I hope uh, your investing journey is going well. Why don't you sh shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what you're investing in. Uh, what you're what you're considering investing in maybe you've got some stuff on your watch list you haven't pulled the trigger on uh, there has been a recent pullback in the markets what do you guys think about that uh, do you think we're uh, in line for more of a pullback do you think that the market's going to crash what sectors are you looking at let me know in the comment section below i am interested in knowing what you are doing with your portfolio any suggestions for research topics topics you want to discuss anything al along those lines and if you've made it this far, if you could give me a thumbs up or hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. I'd appreciate it. It helps me and the channel grow. And for those who have already subscribed, uh, I think we're up to 14, 13 or 14 subscribers now, 14, I believe. 
I appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing and stopping by and keeping up with the, my journey. Like I said, drop a comment down below. And this is Shane with Vested Interest signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. We'll see you next time. Take care, guys.